Hello everybody, this is Laurie from Glow Polish. Today I'm going to show you how I created this fun, easy glitter rainbow design. I used all the colors from the OPI regular Hidden Prism line. They also have six infinite shine shades in this collection as well that aren't shown here. All these polishes are available at beyondpolish.com. Okay, let's get into the design. So I added two coats of Set Apart by Tile Art from OPI, this beautiful white polish, but you can use any white polish that you have. And as you can see, I've done the design on all my nails, but I'm just going to show you how I did it on this one nail. So I'm going to start out using a top coat. Adding a top coat I think is really important for this because it gives a little barrier between the next layer. It hardens the polish just a little bit. These glitter polishes tend to soften the layer underneath and then it drags and pulls and kind of makes a mess. So this really helps prevent that. So I'm going to start out here with the blue polish and I'm just going to put a drop of that on my silicone mat and I'm going to dip into it with my Winstonia brush. I love these for nail art. And then I'm going to start at the base and do a little swerve and go up to the corner. And then I'm going to come and fill that in. I want the base to be a little bit wider and get skinnier up at the top. So I'm going to run that along there. Then I'll get more polish on my brush and just fill that in a little bit. You don't want to fill it in too much because you want to let it dry. If it needs a second layer, you can come back when it's dried and do it on top. When I'm done with that color, I'm going to come in here. I've got a little dish of acetone. I'm going to rinse my brush out and dry it off either with a finger or with a towel. Now I'm ready to come back in with my next color. I'm going to use the purple this time. I'm kind of just looking at my other nails to see what I need to incorporate. Not all of them are the same, but I like to keep the colors quite balanced. These polishes are really nice. You can really just guide them where you want to go. As you can see, I'm using a light hand and just guiding it in the right spot. Now I'm going to come in with the yellow. This one is quite a bit more sheer. Again, I'm just making it skinnier at the top and a little thicker at the base of the nail. And then I'm just filling that in and guiding it to where I want it. Super, super easy. Now I'm just tilting my hand so I can see that I've got it all the way down where I want it to clear at the tip of my nail. Okay, now I'm coming in with the pink. So again, I'm going to make it thicker at the base and I'm going to bring it up a little skinnier up to the side. And I think that gives it such a nice wave on the finger. You don't want the lines to be too thick because you want to be able to see the white on both sides. That's what's really going to make that rainbow design pop. Okay, so now I'm coming in with my blue. I'm doing second coats on areas that really need it and this blue really needed it and I believe I did it on the yellow as well. And then last minute I decided I wanted a little swoosh at the top just to add a little bit more interest so I just filled that in with the purple. And because with some of these glitter polishes there can be areas that are a little thicker than others you want to make sure you're giving it adequate time to dry before you come in with your fast dry top coat. And this is my favorite last step because adding a top coat can really make those glitters stand out. So beautiful. And that's the final look. Thanks so much for joining me in my video that shows you that you can go polish too. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.